So definitely want to keep some of these guys alive so we can uh, hopefully get through some uh, some of the rest of the Easter egg here. Oh nice, I think that's the hammer. Might circle back and get that. Swap out one of my two shrink guns. Bit of a luxury having two of them, but uh, like I said before, they don't do anything to the uh, shrieker zombies or the napalm zombies or the electric zombies, so they're only good for regular zombies. And I'm going to want some powerful weapons for later on. Right at the end of this Easter egg, it gets super crazy. You'll see what I mean if we get that far. So, uh, okay, let's see. I want to probably turn these guys into crawlers if I can. Have I got, let's get some grenades. Oh, I've already got full grenades. Okay. I thought I'd use them for some reason. Let's see if we can make a crawler here. It's going to be really hard at round 21 because I'm pretty sure these zombies have buffed health in this map. No, we didn't get one. Okay, so let's put that one in there. We've only got one more focusing stone. I'm just going to link this because I want to pack a punch a bit later. So it was five stones, not six. After all. Uh, okay, that's linked and ready to go. Okay, so the last stone we have to get... Uh, let's just group these guys. Oh, oh no! Squeeze through. I might just hit the box once more because... just want to make sure I've got some beast guns here. Ah, that's not the best. Um, might hit it again. What's that? Damn! Alright, let's just get this next stone going anyway. So down here, guys, there is uh, some red lights in the sign saying... Uh, when in danger, go into lockdown. So, we're not exactly in danger, but to get uh, this next step done, we have to go into lockdown. So, uh, let's wait for this. Let's get rid of that guy. Right. And we'll run around this way so the zombies aren't in there with me. By the way, uh, when you're in zombie blood mode, in lockdown in this room, uh, you can actually see a map uh, in black light on the back of one of these barriers, which is like the map of the whole complex. All the Dharma Initiative um, bases. Okay, come on. Alright, now once we come out here... There should be, right there, some numbers on the wall. So we'll come back to that. Uh, but we've got to put some numbers in there. Uh, let's just hit the box again. Uh, uh, they're actually dual wield, but, um, and super powerful. But I want something better. Come on. Ah, that's what I want. Where are you going, Mark 2? Oh. Why did, not, why did that not let me pick it up? There we go. Yeah, this thing is the best weapon for taking out the, the um, shriekers and the napalms. Which will become important later on, even more so than now. So we'll... Uh, head to pack a punch, and I might pack a punch the hammer. Awesome sledgehammer. 450 rounds plus this has got nearly a thousand, <laughs> and the ray gun gun's got 160. I would like to pack a punch the ray gun as well, but I haven't got enough to do that.
Okay, we're in the cabin. Get the lightning stuff again. Like I was saying before, that's the only stuff I've actually used in this map. I didn't find it that effective. You'd think it'd be like the Wonder Wolf or something, but it's it didn't seem to be quite as powerful as the Wonder Wolf. I'm not sure what the fire stuff and everything is like, but they're in um, different rooms that you can randomly go to after pack a punch. Right. Um, so we've got one more round after this one, and then another electric zombie round, which could be interesting. Uh, okay, I've got to put the numbers in here now, guys. Now these numbers are the uh, same numbers we've been entering into the computer over here to save the world every 108 minutes. So it's pretty obvious, really, when you think about it. So we're going to put in four, and that will turn uh, one of the lights green. And the next number should be eight. Um... It's annoying having to run these zombies back and forth all the time for this. Oh god, I hit it too many times. Hopefully that's not going to reset everything. I think I can leave that going for a bit. Uh, let's get this back to 1. And 15. And the next number should be 16. If you've um, beaten this map, you should know those numbers from Lost Off by heart. Because <laughs> you have to use them so many times. Still got two minutes left on the clock there until the world ends. So, should have time to finish this part. Okay, 23. And the last one, which is 42. There it is. Cool. Okay, let's put the numbers in here. Okay, now I'm not sure if that is going to charge the battery for me. No, it's not charged. Uh, oh yeah, I have to put the crystal in. Stupid. Let's go back and get that. Oh, nice. <laughs> Almost thought I'd killed them for a second there. Finally got some crawlers going. Now, all right. Let's get this. And uh, we need to put it in the ceiling. Gizmo, this one over here. Okay, that's all five done. Uh, now the problem is, guys, I uh, if I'd been a bit quicker, we would have been right because you have to actually uh, put the numbers in again for it to use these crystals to power the battery for us. And uh, now I've just reset it a second ago, so we're going to have to wait another 108 minutes uh, to power this thing up. Obviously, it's not a real 108 minutes. It's it's much faster than that, but it's probably going to be like, I don't know, five minutes or something. So what I'm going to do, guys, because I don't want to go into the next round at this point, getting this far. I'm going to wait this one out, guys. I'm going to uh, run the crawlers around, keep feeding them and stuff like that so they don't die out on me. And then we'll come back when we've got the timer ticking down again. So, uh, yeah, that is the plan. Now, I'm just trying to work out. I'm just looking around here, trying to work out a good camping spot for for the uh, the last part of this Easter egg. Maybe here? I might be able to camp there. I don't know if they'll drop down on top of me from the hatch. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure how I'll manage that yet, but um, we'll work something out. I've got some really good weapons now, at least. So, I'll feed him. And uh, I'll come back when I'm a bit closer to having the countdown where I want it. 
Uh, so we can enter the numbers in again. Okay, we are back, guys. And as you can hear, uh, the numbers are ticking down there for us. So we're actually at 10 seconds here. Uh, it's getting pretty crucial. The electromagnetic forces are building up, just about to explode the entire world. And I thought, just for you guys, I thought we would let it get down. All the way down to zero here. So uh, let's use this key over here to release the magnetic build-up. What the heck? The hatch is destroyed! <laughs> yep, it actually takes you, uh, it actually takes you like forward in time or something to where the hatch is blown up, um, which is pretty trippy. That's a really cool touch in this map. So I thought I'd show you guys that. But uh, when you come back, the uh, thing starts beeping immediately afterwards. So having done this before, I know that uh, we should be able to enter the numbers again. And uh, let's do that now. And this should charge the battery up for us. Okay, let's go back and see. The battery has been successfully charged. Oh yeah. So we have a gold battery. Okay, now uh, we've got the battery charged. We have to take that back up to the uh, transmitter. And uh, put it back together again. So hopefully we can get rescued off this island. It would have been cool if they put monkeys in this map as well. You can just hear the monkeys, but there's there's no actual monkeys. Okay, more power required. Signal is jammed. <laughs> what the hey? All right, the signal's being jammed, guys. Now, if you remember from the TV show, uh, the signal was actually jammed from a particular location, and that location was the uh, Looking Glass Station. Uh, which is conveniently where Pack-a-Punch is. Which is why uh, we've linked up the teleporter. We should be able to head back to the uh, looking glass now. Oh no, I haven't linked it. I think it was on cooldown or something. So let's just link this and then we'll head back and Pack-a-Punch. Uh, by the way, you'll notice I've lost all my points from uh, allowing the electromagnetic buildup to get critical so if you want to do that just be aware you will lose all your points okay let's go back to the looking glass station okay now look guys <laughs> the hatch is open at the back of this thing and we can actually turn off the jamming uh, signal so we can um, we can uh, use the transmitter now. How cool is that? That is awesome. I love this map, guys. It is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay, let's um, let's get the heck out of here. I wonder if I should throw a grenade here at the end. Okay. Whoa. Okay, this is another staff location. That must be the, uh, the, is that the, the wind stuff or something? I don't think that's the wind stuff, is it? The ice stuff, I guess. Alright. Okay. We've nearly got this thing beat. We just have to head up here. And, uh, the hardest part is yet to come. So, let's see. Survive! <laughs> so I've got to survive 314 seconds here. But it's not as simple as that because we're going to be getting these uh, shriekers and napalms coming like constantly. As well as regular zombies. See if we can get a thousand points happening here to use the trap at least. Let's switch switch the sonar barrier on. Oh no, hey palm. Oh, 
A Gotham Reaper. This thing is a beast. Oh no, it's not too effective on this guy though. Die! Wow, he is so hard to kill. Oh no! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I could not tell what direction I was going in there for a second. Only 240 more seconds of this madness. Let's get back in this spot. Okay, the barriers have uh, turned off again. We've got a napalm. Let's get out of that. Those shriekers are terrible, man. They slow you down, disorient you. Oh, oh I hope to uh, be able to keep a zombie alive. But now we've moved into round 23. We're going to be getting the electric zombie coming again. As well as all this craziness. As if it wasn't bad enough. <laughs> Here he comes as well. Oh, what's that? Oh, I don't need that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> How did I survive that? I think I'm just going, going to uh, avoid the electric zombie because... I'm not going to even try to take him out with uh, with knives. Uh, should I go back down the hatch? I don't want to get trapped down in there though. Oh no. Uh, maybe you can loop back around this way. Oh, napalm! Ugh. I don't want to go that way. Okay, how are we doing? We've got 144 seconds here. Let's turn this back on. Okay, the uh, electric zombie's coming. Man, what I would give for zombie blood right now. Oh man, we got a howler back there. Oh, and a napalm. Sprinting napalm zombies. Oh, I don't want to get stuck there. Whoa. If I can just avoid everything. Because uh, the fire from the napalms when they die actually kills the zombies when they run over it as well. Oh, oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Wrong way! Where the hell am I? Okay, we gotta drop down here. Well, let's put a knife into this guy. Let's keep him quiet. Uh, let's loop back around this way. I don't want to get cornered, that's for sure. 60, uh, 61 seconds. We got a minute left here. Oh, oh no. I think this loop is working pretty good for me, actually. Oh no. Oh no, I can't see anything. Well, let's head up here. Turn that back on. Hey, palm. Whoa. Man, this is crazy. I just, I just got to keep running. Just stay out of these guys' way. Oh, rescue has been contacted. Well, that's good, but... Oh, there we go. Look at that. A lander. We've got a lander. We've got to get to the lander now. Where did it go down, though? I think it was near the uh, transmitter. 
Ah, uh, here it is. Yes, message sent. We've done it, guys. <laughs> Epic. What an amazing map. And you can see there at the end, I got all of the uh, perks as well. Not that I could really use them for much on that lander. That is the incredible map, The Swan, guys. Uh, play it if you can play custom zombies. Uh, if you only play one custom zombies map, that's the one to play. It is awesome. Amazing. Great job, Hex Zombies and uh, awesome Pie Man. Sloopy Jim out. Thanks for watching.